Geeks, what is going on Unite the Clans here, back in your life, and I'm back in your life today with a crazy little indie game. Now you know I'm not afraid to play a game just because it seems hilarious. Well there was a game jam, and the theme was Hendrix, and I don't think anyone expected any of the devs to take it quite so seriously as this, but this is the Jimi Hendrix case. We are going to solve the murder of Jimi Hendrix, and the only man that can solve the murder of Jimi Hendrix is Jimi Hendrix. Jesus. What kind of sick, twisted freak would do this? Good lord. Officer Jimmy, you're finally here, Jimmy. So what's... <laughs> so who's our Jimi Hendrix? Male, probably 28 years old. What a way to go, eh? Any leads on his identity? Not yet. Ask around, would you? Oh, damn right I'll ask around. I got a gun. Oh, yes, aim that gun. Oh, look, we can aim the gun. Sick. Let's put it away for now. Let's go talk to Hendrix. Let's ask her about the body. I don't know. He could be anyone, really, you know? Not trying to be racist. I know, ma'am. Well, if you had something of his, it might help. Goodbye. Guys, let's go talk. Let's go check out the, blo the blood splatter. Sticky blood. That's it. Okay, let's look at the body. The boys will take care of that soon enough. Oh, we can't ex inspect it. We'll probably have to wait till we get to the morgue. What are you saying, Hendrix? Head out whenever. All right, so let's uh, let's see if we can get any more clues. What's in the electrical box? Shouldn't mess with the crime scene too much. What are you talking about? You're the lead detective on the murder of Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy. Get your shit together. Of course you can mess around. Man, Jimmy says, you don't see this kind of thing every day. Let's go talk to this Jimi Hendrix. What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy was the one who found the Vic. He's upending his guts over by the dumpster. Okay, we gotta go find the Jimi Hendrix that's thrown up by a dumpster. Sorry, Jimmy. Take him, Prince. Talk to Jimmy. He might know something. Trail of blood, huh? Sticky blood. Leading to the mother effing door. Door's locked and I don't have a reason to go bashing it down right now. What about the trail of blood, Jimmy? What about the trail of mother effing blood? Sticky blood. Okay, well, what's this thing hanging from the frickin' thing? A scarf. What's it doing wrapped around the railing? Good question, Jimmy. Oh, we've got it now. Sick. Well, let's go talk to Jimi Hendrix. Ugh. Jimmy, you're finally here. Yeah, I was the one who found him. Well, the lady of the night out there found him. She wasn't expecting this. We need her to give us an ID, but she's too scared to come down here. Maybe if I give her the scarf, or ask her about the scarf. Should we check the dumpster? Yeah, I wouldn't want to go rooting around in that either. So there's sticky blood, there's a dumpster, there's a scarf. There's a pretty woman who looks a lot like Jimi Hendrix. Blood trail? Let me guess. Sticky blood. Yup. Alright guys, uh, we're going to keep the video fairly short. I don't think we'll have time to solve this murder, but we're certainly going to investigate as much of it as we can. Miss Hendrix, what do you say about this scarf? Oh, that's Jimmy's scarf. Jimmy Hendrix. He lives in apartment 17. Across the pond, you know? Nice guy. Part of a band, I think. Across the pond. Thank you, Jimmy. Let's ask. Yeah, the pond. This alley between buildings floods all the time. We call it the pond. Um, do you think I could keep this? Jimmy was a good guy. I'd like to pass it on to his girl. You know, protocol says you can't. But protocol can take its clammy fish lips and kiss my behind. Thanks. I know she'd appreciate it. Oh, what did you leave behind, speaking? Now, what are these? Something about fish lips. Come on, this case smells real fishy. Real fishy. So we got fish scales. Interesting. All right, let's go up to the car. Let's go see what's going on. That doesn't look like a car. Oh, we're in the car. We're heading back. Let's review the case so far. Jimmy looks so cool, doesn't he? Who was the victim? That's easy. It's Jimi Hendrix, mother effos. Yep, Jimi Hendrix, 28 years old. Hell of a way to go. Killed in an alley between the apartment buildings. What was strange about the crime scene? The fish scales. Pretty. That's not an option. The blood trail. I mean, the scarf we've identified, the splatter, we have a vague idea. The car, that's our car, so we go blood trail. 
That's right, the killer trailed some blood down the alleyway. Where was he going? And why? I'm gonna have some coffee. There's something else. Yeah, fish scales, you idiot. Yeah, fish scales. What were they doing? Having a disagreement over fish and chip night. Too strange. I'll have to hold on to these. You know, this case reminds me of an old case. A killer who used to slice off the head of anybody that got in his way. At the center was a drug operation. You could say he didn't like competition. Half of his victims were dealers. He was always a step ahead. Everything was packed up before we got there and the trail would turn cold. We never did find out who it was. Must have been someone influential. Everyone suspected Jimi Hendrix, but we could never pin it on him. But it's strange. There hasn't been a murder like that in years. Maybe someone decided it was time to open up old wounds. I guess that means it's time to open up old case files, too. The body's probably over at the morgue. Something tells me I should stop in and take a closer look at that mother effer. Let's do this thing. Oh, we're here. Where's the morgue? There's the morgue. Let's go in it. Speak with the constable. Okay, Constable Jimmy, not this, not her. Jimmy, you look like hell. Long night since he got a decent night's sleep. Any messages for me? Just your mother worried sick about you again. You should call her sometime, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy. You're starting to sound like a broken record, Jimmy. What's this guy got to say about it? What you got to say about it, Jimmy? Hey, Police Chief Jimmy wants to see you. Does <laughs> he want to grill me over I handled that last case again? Oh, you know how it is. Impersonates the Chief, who's gonna sound a lot like Jimi Hendrix. Give me ten minutes with this guy and I'll have him singing the blues for me. Okay, what do you got to say, Mr. Hendrix? Officer Hendrix? Good work on that last case, Jimmy. The boss doesn't think so. That's the boss for you. A string operation that big's bound to have casualties. Don't beat yourself up over it, you did good. I'll have a sip of coffee as a reward. Mmm. I love a cup of coffee when I record. It makes me so happy I'm warm inside. Ooh, my belly's growling. Should probably have breakfast before the second cup of coffee, don't you think? Alright, uh, let's talk to Jimi Hendrix over here. Can't work all the time, Jimmy. Sometimes we gotta take a break. You know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. What? Go F yourself. I'm trying to solve a case. Boss said he wanted to speak to you. Let's go find the boss. Okay. Chief Jimi Hendrix. You're gonna give me a hard time? I'm Detective Jimi Hendrix, for God's sake. I'm too old for this shit. Jimi, you piece of jetsam, get in here. Yeah, what is it this time? You flounder on this case. It'll be the last one. Flounder? There's a lot of fish references. You'll be washed up in this precinct. Just like the last time you said this, boss. I don't need you flaking out. This case is already circling down the drain. Blood's in the water. Listen to all this water drain. All these are fish references. The DEA is circling like sharks. You're gonna fry for your mistake. <laughs> okay, hilarious. Anything else, boss? Get your pathetic self out of here. We're on thin ice and it's ice fishing season if you get my drift. I don't. Get out. All right, it's the case of the Jimi Hendrix murder. The murder of Jimi Hendrix. Let's head to the morgue. The morgue it is. Four digit code. <laughs> hey. Oh, he laughed. <laughs> All right, I guess we gotta find out what the code is. I wonder if the secretary knows the code. What's the code, darling? The morgue code. I just know the first two digits are different. Okay, it's a puzzle, freaks. And it's gonna be an easy one. So the first two digits are different. One number doubles up. Starts in a three. Okay, so it's three. How about you? You got anything for me? Okay, that's easy. So it starts in a 3, ends in a 4, 8, uh, and one number is double. So it's 3, 4, 4, 8, or 3, 8, 4, 8. Let's go 3, 4, 4, 8. Dude, let's move along. Let's go to the dang morgue. Solve this thing in no time flat. Let's, what do we go with first? 3, 4, 4, 8. Let's do it. 3, 4, 4, 8. Got it! First try. Like a math genius. Let's go down there. Would you put that out, Jimmy? Sure, Jimmy. He couldn't look much worse, especially now he's had his insides rearranged. That's it? I can't... Okay, well, let's talk to Hendrix here. What do you got for me, Jimmy? Can you tell me more about this body? Well, what do you want to know? Okay. 
So what's the chest? Strain on the heart. Aqueous upsets the pH level in the blood. Probably made his heart beat so hard he drained faster than a broken aquarium. Yet another fish reference. Neck. Someone's best yet failed attempt at decapitation. Jimmy was right. Blood splatter. Is this splatter? Needles. Habitual drug user. This guy had enough aqueous in his... That must be a famous drug to kill a horse. The new street drug? Good grief. Okay. Chest. Face. Neck. I think that's it, guys. Hey, Jimmy. If you find anything at the crime scene we missed, let me know. How about these, darling? It's the same thing we're seeing across the city. People turning up dead and no clear connection other than this fish thing. I suggest you talk to Jimmy down at the market. Oh, and Jimmy, watch it. He's a slippery type, a real slippery fish of a man. Let's head down there, guys, and I'll see if I can get another step further in this case before we call it quits today. So let's head down here. We'll head to the fish market, and we'll see what the hell's going on. Here we are, guys. Counter. I can't get to it while Jimmy's watching. Okay. Let's show Jimmy the badge. It's Detective Jimmy. I gotta ask you a few questions. Yes, detective, what can I do for you? Yes, detective, okay, put that down. What are these? Ooh, that's a very particular type of fish, Jimmy. Ain't sold none of those in a while. Oh, you don't say. You lying to me, Jimmy? Are you lying? Because I know when people are lying to me. Ah, oh, you know, Jimmy, I don't got such a good memory, Jimmy. The memory of a goldfish, you slob. Now you listen to me, I got people dying out there. You better start remembering and you better start remembering real fast. He ain't seen nothing, leave him alone, says the henchman. Like he said, I ain't seen nothing. You want me to leave him alone? I'll leave him alone. Got him like a fish, boys. Oh no, okay. Uh, get the gun, get the gun, get your gun, Jimmy. Okay, gun. No, put the fish scales down. They're shooting at me. They're shooting at Jimi Hendrix. All right, let's pop one off at this fool. Oh, you got to stand up. Get stood up. Okay. Oh, it's an action game, guys. Stand up, you fools. Jimmy shoots. Jimmy shoots. Oh, you done goofed on that one, Jimmy. Geeks, uh, the only option was to restart. I guess I didn't do a proper job saving, but that's cool. That gives you a taste of the Jimi Hendrix case. If you're interested in this, you gotta let me know with a like or a comment, and I'll know to bring you in episode two. We'll see if we can solve this fishy, fishy murder. But for now, I just want to show you this hilarious looking game. The Jimi Hendrix case, in which you play Detective Jimi Hendrix in a world populated with Jimi Hendrix, attempting to solve your own murder. Brilliant. Uh, that's it, geeks. There's a link for this game in the description. I, as always, am Unite the Clans, and I will see you geeks in my next video. Without a mind control device, Stanley slumped to the floor and died promptly. This is new. Blackness, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! 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 He had won! He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Yeah.